it's time for a magic trick. I'm going to cut these two projects using exactly the same piece of G-code. Why is that amazing? It's because they are different thicknesses of material. When I've finished, the pocket depth on both of these will be identical. The holding tabs holding them in place will be the same. I won't alter the method by which I set my cutter up between the two cuts. Will I end up with a great big gouge in my table? Let's watch and find out. I'm starting by zeroing my cutter to the surface of the material. The first cut will be a pocket cut and therefore referenced from the top. I have a light behind the cutter so I'll be able to see when the cutter is just touching the material. With the cutter now set, I can now zero my X, Y and Z. Let the fun begin. Now that the pocket cut is done, it's now requesting a tool change. So I'm just going to bring it forward off the end of the material there and drop it down to the tabletop. I'm going to put my light behind it again and I'm going to bring the cutter down until it just touches the tabletop. When I no longer see light passing under the tips of the cutter, I know that it's sitting on the tabletop. I can now change the Z figure to minus 18, which is the nominal thickness I told VCAV Pro that the stock was when I created the file. I'll now raise the cutter back up and we can continue cutting. I've now loaded some new MDF onto the table and this time it's 12mm or half inch MDF. I'm now going to drop the cutter down to the table and using my light I will set the Z height I'll now set the Z to zero and we can start cutting. Again, it's asking for a tool change. So I'm going to bring it forward to the end of the table, drop the cutter down a little bit, put my light behind it, and again bring the cutter down the table surface. Now again I'm going to alter the Z value here but this time not to minus 12 which is the nominal thickness of the material I'm using but to minus 18 which is the nominal thickness I told VCAV Pro the material would be when I created the file. If I use minus 12, I'll end up cutting right through my spoil board. I can now lift the cutter up and we can resume our cut. Now just to recap, I cut both of these using the exact same piece of G-code. The G-code was written for 3 quarter inch or 18 millimeter MDF. I cut both the 3 quarter and the half inch using exactly the same file. Now I got the digital calipers out and I measured the depth of this pocket and compared it to this one. They were within half a thou of each other. Now that's not surprising of course because I set the cutter 
to the top of the material. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the holding tabs that are holding these in place and we'll measure the thickness of the holding tabs. That's 1.42, and that's 1.41, and this here is 1.42, and this one here is 1.48. So as you can see, these holding tabs are approximately the same thickness, even though the material are clearly different sizes. So is there any point to this? Yes there is. If you understand how and why this works and it doesn't include the words magic, then congratulations you're no longer a novice. You've just learned a really important technique to use with your machine. You can now create accurate pockets at the top of your material. You can apply this technique to create accurate pockets reference to the bottom of your material. You'll be able to cut through your material without scarring up your table and your holding tabs will be accurately sized so that the part you're cutting doesn't break free while you're machining it. There are a few provisos to this. When creating the file, you reference the cutter to the top of the material. You're probably doing that anyway, so no problem there. Second, when changing between the pocket and the profile cut, you need to make sure you change the cutter number. That forces Mac 3 or UCCNC to stop and requests a tool change. At that time, you can then re-zero the cutter as necessary. You need to make sure you have your settings correct in Mac 3 or UCNC to make this happen. When creating these files, you also have to make sure that you are creating the file for the thicker material. You can't do this technique having created a file for the 12 millimeter or half inch material and then apply it to the three quarter. It does work the other way around. Create the file for the thicker material and you can cut the thinner material on it. Well, I hope you found this useful and will be able to utilize this technique in your machining. If you don't understand how and why this works, please go back, review it again, or ask some questions because this really is something that's well worth learning. In the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.